I see that there's a lot of people out there accusing me of adultery. First of all, if I was committing adultery, what business is it of yours? What business is it of yours? What business is it of yours? Whatever any man or any woman say over social media, talking about the church, they can call me an antichrist, false prophet, racist, let them call me whatever they want. You are a false ass prophet, and you need to shut your damn mouth, nigga. Never get into an argument with nobody's program. They are doing it for ratings. Even they know, they really can't attract nobody, so sometimes they'll post my name just to get viewers. But don't call in, don't respond in, just because that's what they want you to do. No. Lying bastard. Old goat took a 16-year-old girl. That damn lying-ass preacher. You damn anti-messiah bitch. Anti-messiah bitch. Anti-messiah bitch. Hey guys, before we continue, I found that 84% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos circulated within the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support and truth. Let's get back to it. I marvel at how both Dow and Gino accuse people like myself of using their names for ratings when both of them have publicly randomly challenged anyone to a debate on their false doctrines. Dow even offered $25,000 to anyone who can prove him wrong on the doctrine of polygyny. So how can either of these satanic hypocrites complain when their darkness is brought to the light? And I will continue to expose them. I mean, Geno Jennings, has about nine to 10 false doctrines that he teaches, and I have documented them in my playlist. And Dow, before your adultery and tyranny was exposed, I made it known that you are in error practicing polygyny. So I'm going to address what these heretics said, and we're going to start with Dow. I see that there's a lot of people out there accusing me of adultery. First of all, if I was committing adultery, what business is it of yours? Yeah, listen to this devil, this serpent. Satan has completely taken over this man. I mean, demons are very bold. They'll kill one of your loved ones, then use a man like Dow to steal your wife, then come before the public and tell everyone it's none of your business. I mean, this is how demons work. They're very bold. Yet, this is the same hypocrite in the same breath who will tell you all things are common here at Straightway, that they live set apart, yada, 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 yada. So if you're out here marketing this set apart life, how the heck is it no one's business that you go to bed with another man's wife? This same man who made a decision to bring his wife, his wife who was skeptical of you at first, he made the decision to bring his wife and his children to your community. So it's hypocritical of you to rebuke the same critics whom you rely on support from for your communities. So why don't you just shut down your channel and go continue being in your filth in private, dude? Because your ego is the apple of your eye, hypocrite. Now, on the second part of this, I ain't committing adultery. I ain't never committed adultery. See, you can see the demons in his eyes. Look at his eyes. The eyes out a window to the soul. Why do you look so perplexed, Dow? I bet those demons wearing your behind out at night. Because sin is pleasurable for a season. But now you're past your prime. Job chapter 14, verse 1 says, Man who is born of woman is a few years and full of trouble. He comes forth like a flower and fades away. He flees like a shadow and does not continue. Giants 4 14 says, What is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanishes away. Hopefully, you can make peace with Yah 
and stop lying about your adultery because you're a terrible liar. You're too messy. Your adultery is literally on film. And you yourself stated the false doctrine using that as the premise for why you have the right to another man's wife. You have stated that they were wrongfully married under state authority and you lied that Eric Gonzalez abandoned his wife. Then you had the nerve. You had the nerve to go 100 and threaten Eric Gonzalez not to return back to the compound where you was housing his wife. I'm trying to understand this hypocrite. I mean, the nerve of you, dirty, low dial, you scoundrel, you so raggedy and messy and indignant, you hell-bound devil. This bulls like you who manufacture Jezebels. I mean, that's really what goes on at Straight Way to Hell. I mean, Straight Way to Hell is just a Jezebel manufacturing complex. And you're worthless scum of the earth. Because I fear y'all more than I do you. <laughs> that would never happen. All right. Also, this. So the people out there that is accusing me of all this stuff. And, and you know, there's a, a scripture out there called Exodus chapter 20, verse 16, called bearing false witness. Now, I know that most of you, you've got sins that you put up here and then sins you put down here. Here you are, are violating the very Torah or the very scriptures that you say that you are being obedient to. You know, James says, if you offend in one point, then you guilty of them all. All of you out there that's bearing false witness, you also guilty of adultery. You also guilty of bearing false witness. You also guilty of covetousness. Even if you offend at one point, you're literally guilty of them all. You see, you're taking that passage out of context. You're guilty of all of those sins if you die in your sins, meaning it's too late to repent. That's what that passage is talking about. But while you still got breath in your nostrils, God searches and discerns the heart. Last month, I did a video titled, All Sin is Not the Same. Now, Dow, I myself will admit to you in my lifetime, I have been an incredibly sinful man. But I repent, and I know that I still need the grace of our God. But yet, this is the same thing that allows me to put myself in your shoes. Because I'm a sinner, I can put myself in your shoes. And because I'm not in the sin that you are in, I can remove the speck from your eye. Recently, I outlined exactly what you would need to do to repent. And it's a lot. I mean, let's just keep it 100. You have more people affected by your sin than me or any regular old person. So penalty is greater. I mean, first of all, you're a rich man. You've got a rich through filthy lucre. Okay, I've talked about that in previous videos. I mean, I've never done that. And I'm sure many who are watching these videos have never sinned to that level. Although we all are sinners, no one has sinned up to that level, okay, up to that magnitude. So you have more to give up, which just makes it much harder to repent, okay? You got tougher decisions on your part here, okay? You got wives to give up. You got land. Uh, how many communities? You can't be at peace with the Most High and still keep all that, dude. Come on, man. It's not who sin or you know, you're guilty of all sin. No, we all sin. It's about the practice of sin and the degree to which you have sinned and, and the stronghold that emanates from that sin, which the devil uses to discourage you from repentance. That's what matters the most. All right. When King David sinned, he lost like four of his sons. Just from that one sin of Uriah, he lost four, four of his sons got killed and his sons were killing each other. Okay. King Solomon killed Adonijah. Absalom killed Ammon. After Ammon raped David's daughter, Tamar. I mean, come on, let's keep it 100. Let's talk scripture here. 
All right, because the magnitude of his sin, there was a greater stronghold. He had another man's wife, and he had that man killed. All right? So one person just telling a lie is not equal to that magnitude of sin. All sin is not the same, huh? So where is the outcry of all the people out here that is bearing false witness? I mean, there's no eyewitnesses to any of these false allegations. You just have a bunch of butt hurt people. I mean, this is old shit from 10, 15 years ago. 10, 15 years ago, and it resurfaces it because you get uh, one pastor that accused me, slandered me, and then everybody, then everybody that, that hates Pastor Dow and just ran with it. I'm glad you let me know who you are. I am. I'm glad to know that all these enemies, man, I feel like, damn, I'm on Donald Trump level. And here he goes. Here's the acid test right here. You hear all this noise and all this rhetoric, but name, give me one person that can tell you what I have ever personally done wrong to them. Not only that, Gino. No, all this came to light after you publicly humiliated Rufus, okay? And you did that because he wounded your ego and refused to say that I repent to you, my shepherd, like the rest of those cowards in your circle. But let's get to Geno Jennings. Whatever any man or any woman say over social media, talking about the church, they can call me an antichrist, false prophet, racist. Let them call me whatever they want. It's true. You are a false prophet. You do not believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because you say he does not sit at the right hand of God. I mean, you collect a tithe. That's also not biblical. You have said numerous times that you've been preaching longer than Jesus. You've done greater works than Jesus. And you even lie to this day that you are an apostle. You lied that you would debate anyone. And still, you've bucked so many people. You ducked Tony Smith, Pastor Tony Smith. Uh, you ducked Bishop Nathaniel and Pastor Dow. Okay, in addition to that, you also are a rich man. You haven't suffered persecution like the real apostles. They were poorly clothed, and you wear a three-piece suit. Discerning your church, as I did a recent video about the demons that are in your church, demons are really comfortable in your church, okay? The synagogues, they control you, okay? That's why that guy was throwing up a pyramid right in front of the camera while you attempted to cast a demon out of a man. I mean, that's satanic. That's a Masonic gesture, all right? Your church is satanic. Never get into an argument with nobody's program. They are doing it for ratings. Even they know they really can't attract nobody, so sometimes they'll post my name just to get viewers. But don't call in, don't respond in, just because that's what they want you to do. No. Now, anyone with sense knows that the YouTube algorithm is based on creating a forum which is based on existing persons who've talked about topics that are already populating the YouTube algorithm. Okay, we see the same format in mainstream television where the sports media always talk about the Lakers and the Cowboys. Then in politics, we see CNN always talk about whomever is the incumbent president and Donald Trump. So it's nonsensical to say that because Satan has way higher ratings and more subscribers than Christ in this fallen world that argument is stupid there are false prophets like td jakes and creflo dollar who got a bigger following than you so are we supposed to leave them alone too the devil speak through satanic men like this to big up himself and pride while he carefully conceals his demons okay because them demons don't want to be exposed and we can never expose false prophets according to his logic because what if they all said you using my name 
And they all, you got, let's say you got 100,000 false prophets out here that got billions of subscribers on YouTube. You're not supposed to expose any of them? Come on, man. Sometimes a preacher die, and then someone just get up and take over. And you can tell the one that take over, don't, and God didn't make them. Because when God make you, God make you a builder and a teacher. Yeah. If I die, and if God don't raise up somebody after me, everything will fall apart. Amen. Because God got to give you the same vision that he gave me. You see that? I meant to say this in the video where I used this clip here. Look at how Gino looked at Williams before he said everything will fall apart after he died. That's how you know it's a cult. That's how you know he's a false apostle. John the Revelator was the last apostle living, and he was a 90-year-old man in prison on the island of Patmos. Why? Because apostles were men condemned to death by God, according to the scriptures. That's how great the anointing was on them. God had to balance them with suffering. He had to balance them with a thorn in their flesh. That's how great God's power is. His power is contagious. So he had to balance it. But you, you're a fraud. You're a liar. You fleece the flock and return back to the comfort of your luxurious home. You're just like Dow. The difference is you have more tact in your practice of wickedness. Therefore, Satan can use you better. Dow is just messy. But both of y'all full of the devil. And I recommend those who watch these videos at the sound of my voice do not follow these false prophets. Run. Trust me. They will lead you to the lake of fire. Don't let your flesh write checks. Your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. It's all about fates and gates. You got to have faith and you're going to need God's grace.